Life, they say, can be tragic. Tragedies can be tolerated, but mysterious tragedies can be suffocating. And that's exactly what is happening to the relatives of the passengers of MH370, the flight that vanished on its way from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing more than four years back. This happened on the 8th of March 2014. Massive hunts were launched. The last one ended today. US-based Ocean Infinity has used deep sea vessels to survey a vast area in the southern Indian Ocean. No results. The Malaysian government says it has no plans to begin a new search effort. In any case, official search efforts came to an end last year with no conclusion. No one knows what happened to the fateful flight. So what happens next? The Malaysian transport minister says a full report will be published soon. He is not given a date though. Australia says the search tested the limits of technology and experts and we are still at sea. Australia, Malaysia and China say the search would resume only if there is credible evidence identifying a specific location of this missing aircraft. Unfortunately, the only confirmed traces of this plane have been three wing fragments found washed up on Indian Ocean coasts. Let's take a look at what happened to MH370. On the 8th of March 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 lost contact less than an hour into the flight. Seven days later, on the 15th of March, in fact, a year later, 15th March 2015, investigators focused on the Indian Ocean. In July the same year, debris was found on Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. January 2017, Australia, Malaysia and China suspend the official search. January 2018, that is this year, Ocean Infinity launches a search operation. And in May this year, today, Ocean Infinity's operation has ended. Malaysia says there is no plan to resume the search and there are dozens of questions that still remain unanswered. Why was there no distress signal? Why was no alarm raised? Why did no passenger try to make a phone call? Nobody knows the answers. Was MH370 hijacked? Again, we don't know. And why have satellites failed to find this plane? Almost every inch of Earth is covered by satellites and yet the world has failed to locate a plane as big as this one. There are many conspiracy theories. We've tried to piece together 10 of them on the disappearance of this plane. The first theory suggests that the missing Malaysian Airlines was accidentally shot down as part of a training drill that resulted in a blunder, following which the entire episode was covered up to save face. The second theory says that MH370 was hijacked and flown to Afghanistan. But what happened to the people? We don't know. The third theory suggests that the plane may have hidden from detection from another plane, most likely in the shadow of a Singapore Airlines flight. A rather bizarre theory suggested that the entire episode was nothing but an insurance scam. This theory was floated by none other than the Malaysian police chief who insinuated that maybe somebody on the flight who had bought a huge sum of insurance wanted his family to gain from it. Incredible. The fifth theory, and one of the most widely held theories, is that there was a fire on board that killed everyone. But what happened to the plane? That's a question that still remains. One explanation for the sudden disappearance, according to some, could be, a, could be pilot suicide. That is the sixth conspiracy theory. But authorities have no evidence whatsoever to back this. Another theory that aims to connect the dots suggests that the aircraft may have developed cracks. Because six months before this plane went down, the US aviation watchdog warned airlines of a problem with cracks in Boeing 777s that could lead to mid-air breakup. Some believe that there could be an Asian Bermuda Triangle where the plane may have disappeared following an explosion or a mechanical failure. Boats and planes have been known to disappear in the patch of sea in the North Atlantic Ocean known as the Bermuda Triangle. The Devil Sea in the Pacific is known as Asia's Bermuda Triangle. Even though no terror group has claimed responsibility for the missing flight, many assume it to be a terrorist's job. The two passengers who boarded the plane with stolen passports have triggered this possibility. The 10th theory suggests that some cyber hackers took over this plane and they crashed it. Reports say in the wake of the 9-11 attacks, new technology was designed allowing planes to be controlled remotely in the event of a hijacking, but it can be controlled by the wrong parties as well. MH370 is an unfortunate reminder of other aviation mysteries that have baffled mankind with no answers found to this day. If you observe the pattern, then most of these disappearances have happened over the sea or an ocean. Let's take you to back to 1937. The story is uh, about America's aviation pioneer, Amelia Earhart. She was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. She vanished over the Central Pacific near 
Howland Island during an attempt to become the first female to circumnavigate the globe by flight. Though some clues have emerged over the years, but Earhart's plane is yet to be found. Then there's the disappearance of Flight 19 that had five Avenger torpedo bombers. It disappeared without a trace over the Bermuda Triangle on 5th December 1945. A boat that was deployed to search for the lost bombers also disappeared. 14 crew members on board the Avenger bombers were lost, during 13, including 13 members of the rescue team. The wreckage of the bombers was never found. The next mystery is a rather strange one. In 1951, a U.S. Air Force C-124 Globemaster, which was on its way to England, crash-landed into the Atlantic Ocean. A few hundred miles from Ireland, the 53 passengers and crew on board this flight were saved just in time, courtesy life preservers and emergency rafts. Everyone was rescued. Another plane was on its way to help the Globemaster in navigation. When it arrived at the location, the crew of the rescue plane observed that the passengers were at the designated spot. The rescue plane then returned to its base to refuel the engine, but when the rescue crew came back to the same spot, the plane and the stricken passengers had all disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to these and what happened in the hours when help was on its way. The next mystery is surrounding the Flying Tiger Flight 739. It's a prop liner plane chartered by the U.S. military to fly 96 American soldiers from California to Vietnam. We are talking about the year 1962. This flight landed in Guam for a scheduled refueling. It departed for its next flight in the Philippines about 80 minutes into the flight. The pilot sent a routine message to the ATC. Everything seemed to be okay. But that was the last contact with the plane. At that time, the search for the plane was one of the largest ever undertaken in the Pacific Ocean. But the aircraft was never seen or heard from again. In 2003, a decommissioned Boeing 727 plane mysteriously began moving on a runway at the Angola airport. It took off without clearance. It disappeared into the sky. It is believed that at least one man was on the plane at the time of its departure and the plane was stolen. Its disappearance prompted a worldwide search by America's FBI and the CIA. No trace of this aircraft has been found since. And talking about the one of the latest mysteries, which is from India on July 22nd, 2016, Indian Air Force's military aircraft AN-32 disappeared while flying over the Bay of Bengal. There were 29 people on board at the time, 16 ships, one submarine, six aircraft were deployed for the largest search operation in Indian history. This mission was called off in September and all on board presumed dead. We do not know what became of these planes.